All right, hey there guys, Dubs Arter here, and uh, I wanted to do a video today about a quick and simple part that you can add on to your Honda CTX 1300 that will uh, help protect your bike from A, getting dirty, and B, um, kind of add some longevity to your bike there. So if you notice, if you look uh, kind of at the front of my motor there in the radiator you see how the wheels kind of throwing up uh, stuff back into the motor and uh, it's just not real clean there uh, from a bunch of dirt and stuff and that really comes down to the fact that the fender there um, just doesn't come down uh, far enough to uh, stop all that grime and dirt and stuff from getting thrown back into your motor um, and also work the same for like rocks if you throw rocks back into your your motor and your radiator there can cause issues um, you know in the future so what we're going to be installing today is this fender extender here I'm going to see my camera focus there um, and it's just going to add a little bit of length to the back of that fender there so that it will uh, it will help protect your bike in the long run so uh, yeah it's really quick and simple you'll see here it only takes a few minutes to do uh, once you got the right materials and uh, yeah I'll bring you guys back in when we get all set up and ready for the next time all right welcome back there guys um, what I've got set up here is what you're gonna need to kind of install on your bike uh, as you can see it's not overly complicated uh, and you're really gonna uh, only use a few of these a few things to get it set up so we're gonna start with talking about the uh, sandy wipes that I've got sitting right here. Um, this is what I'm going to use to kind of clean off the bike, clean under the fender, make sure it's all nice and clean uh, so that the epoxy uh, has something to kind of adhere to. Um, but this is a crucial step. Make sure everything is good and clean on your bike um, because the epoxy needs a clean surface. Next we're going to be talking about this uh, Gorilla Glue here. Um, and I really like this stuff. It comes in two tubes and it kind of sets in five minutes. Uh, it's not overly expensive. You can use it for a couple of things around the house uh, and you won't have to uh, You know let the tube go to waste or anything. So um, it's kind of Multi-purpose next we've got a fender extender here some gloves um, And I just use those to keep my hands clean and then we've got uh, These clips here, and that's what we're going to use to kind of let the fender extender sit in place with the epoxy uh, And this is probably the longest part of it um, you know, I like to let mine sit a couple days with these clips on there just to make sure uh, that the epoxy is good and strong. So, yeah, just a few of the things here that you're going to need to uh, kind of get started and put this put this on your bike. So, uh, the fender extender here that I'm, that I'm pointing at um, has got a little groove cut out. And what you're going to do is kind of put the epoxy on that top side there. And you're going to, uh, you know, just put it into your bike and use the clamps to kind of hold it in place on the back of that fender there. Um, and this wasn't overly expensive. Uh, I think the tube of the Gorilla Glue here is, I don't know, nine, ten bucks or so. Um, and you're going to use probably uh, maybe a little little more than half, a little less than half, somewhere in there. Um, you're going to spread that around nice and good on there. Um, and so yeah, let's go ahead and bring you guys back in at the next step when we get set up on the bike here. All right, so welcome back there, guys. The next step's actually not on the bike. It's on the fender extender here and how to apply the epoxy to the fender extender. So uh, I want to start off by talking kind of about this Gorilla Glue. <clears throat> it's uh, uh, really cool stuff. I've used it for a couple things around the house. My wife's used it for a couple things around the house. Um, and it's got a really strong bond. It's got two tubes there, um, and you'll see that that you know when you combine those two, it makes a really strong bond. Um, and so it's pretty handy stuff to have around the house. You don't need to uh, you know throw away the tube, or this isn't the only project that you can use it for around your house. Um, but it's kind of water resistant too, and it's uh, really good stuff. When you're applying it to that fender extender there, um, it's going to make a a nice strong bond with your bike. So you'll see that it kind of comes out in two sprays. You want to evenly um, put that across the, the top part of the fender extender there. And that's why I've got the gloves on because I'm going to kind of blend the two together. So 
uh, we'll get started here with the application. Pull the top off of the, the glue there. And then you're going to use those clips there to apply that to your bike. All right, so we'll get started here with applying the epoxy. And I'm going to make two even strips, kind of one on top and one on the bottom. Uh, try to make sure I've got two nice, two nice lines here. And this stuff's really thick here, so just keep in mind it's not going to be a easy <laughs> going to get it out of the tube and I'm, I'm a lot of quantities here or a whole lot of quantities so all right so I got the two lines on there you see I've got the two beads on there and basically with those two lines you want to make sure that you blend uh, the epoxy together and it'll make this really funny smell um, that's kind of how you know that it's working I'm just going to take my finger here and kind of run up, run all the lines together and kind of spread out the epoxy there so it starts the blending process. And we've got five minutes or so before it starts to set. Uh, and that's not a hard line. It still stays wet for quite a while. Uh, that's why I leave it on there for a couple of days. But you want to make sure that you kind of get this in place within that five minute time frame so that you can kind of uh, let it start setting in place in it fully cures in the right position, I guess. So um, what we'll do here is we're kind of on a time crunch now. So I'll get this um, moved over and we'll get it set up on the bike and I'll bring you guys back in at the next step here. All right, so welcome back here, guys. We'll get the camera set up here. But um, if you see here underneath the fender, um, I took probably seven, eight, nine wipes um, and I just, I really cleaned the underside of that fender as much as I could um, before I start, before I'm, I'm moving this in there. Um, now, if you see here, I'm just kind of applying it um, lightly, um, moving around a little bit so that the epoxy gets a chance to kind of uh, blend with the uh, underside of the fender there and uh, make a nice good bond on it there. So I just move it around a little bit and I take the clip here <clears throat> and I'm just going to clip that on. Uh, making sure that you're kind of keeping with the lines of the fender um, and you're making sure that you're kind of got it lined up right on the bike. Um, we're then going to turn the wheel here and give ourselves some room to work on the other side and uh, we're going to line it up on this other side here and we're going to clip on the fender for that side. Um, once you got one on there the second one goes really really quickly so just make sure you got your lines um, lined up and you'll be all set there um, and it's as simple as that now you're just playing the waiting game um, and making sure that you know your lines are all set there and it's the way you want it um, and you wait for the epoxy to kind of bond to the underside of the fender there um, yeah it, it's a really quick and simple fix to do to your motorcycle uh, and it's gonna definitely add to the longevity of the bike you, you don't want to go replacing a radiator <coughs> or uh, any parts of your motor because you kick a rock back in there um, and so for you know less than 50 bucks you can get this set up on your bike and give yourself some added protection uh, not to mention you don't have to wash the underside of that bike uh, quite as much every time you take a ride so um, hopefully uh, this helps some of you guys out there um, please like and subscribe and uh, let me know if you want to see any other videos like this and uh, I will talk to you guys next time